Military Sealift Command's High Speed Vessel Swift made a brief stop at Naval Station Mayport after a three and a half month deployment, supporting Southern Partnership Station and testing new counter drug technologies off the coast of South America in Fort Fleet's area of responsibility. We had Marines, we had CBs, we had a cast of other core competencies that worked with our partner nations. We also experimented with uh, a couple of uh, airborne assets that have sensors and we're trying to figure out how to employ those sensors to counter the, uh, the drug trafficking that's coming up from you know, the southern uh, parts of our, uh, of our hemisphere. As part of Southern Partnership Station, SWIFT visited Honduras, Guatemala, and Belize to share training and experience with U.S. partner nations, Maritime Forces. Deployed personnel work closely with their host nation's counterparts in areas of explosive ordnance disposal, land navigation, live fire exercises, river operations, and division level tactics. They, they performed uh, absolutely superb. And I think the real takeaway for us is that with a small amount of uh, forces present, we can go down there and, and make a huge difference. I mean, in the matter of three and a half months, we touched militaries in three different countries. In the current fiscal environment, Four Fleet is exploring innovative, cost-effective solutions that can address the capability gaps caused by budget cuts. Aerostat balloons and UAV technologies are platforms that warrant more research due to the benefits of enhanced fuel efficiency, payload capacity, and persistence. So as a proof of concept this time around, we're going to take the lessons learned and try to, to take it uh, to the next level next time we go out. From Navy Public Affairs Support Element Southeast, I'm Petty Officer Damian Bird.